jumping right now on the edge. A Chicago fire truck comes dangerously close to falling through a hole at a parking garage. It was stuck there for hours. CBS 2's Jim Williams is live in South Shore where a crane arrived to remove it a short time ago. Jim. Erica, the concrete collapsed at 1040 this morning and we've been waiting all day for the crane to arrive. It is here now to pull out the large fire truck away from the large hole. That fire truck weighs 40,000 pounds, so this is a big operation and that crane is powerful. Workers are actually placing an I-beam underneath the front of the fire truck and they'll move it to the ramp of the garage where they hope they can drive engine 126 away. When the concrete collapsed, the firefighter inside was no doubt grateful for a strong front bumper. Chicago Fire Department Engine 126, perched precariously on the garage's top deck, was responding to a medical emergency at this senior center at 71st and Exchange. Tamika Wilson works at the clinic next door. We did hear a little shaking like boom, it did get real loud, so yeah, it kind of reminded you of like an earthquake. The parking of the garage collapsed here and our rig is sitting right over it, it didn't fall off, but it's hanging on yet. Hanging on the edge, only the front bumper keeping the entire truck from crashing to the lower level. A large slab of concrete underneath the truck had given way. While his colleagues were taking care of the emergency inside the senior center, the lone firefighter inside the truck crawled out the back. What did he tell his bosses? Nothing that I can repeat here. <laughs> that bad, huh? Yes, sir. The truck weighs more than 40,000 pounds with water, so firefighters drain the rig to lighten the load. City records show the garage was built in the late 1990s. 12 years ago, it was repaired. The fire department said it was thankful the collapse had not happened when passenger vehicles were driving on the deck or they could have fallen through the hole. I'm glad everything is okay and no one got hurt, yeah, because it looked dangerous. Pack Live now, workers say it'll likely take more than an hour to move the fire truck. The firefighter inside first thought he was okay, then he determined he had some back pain. He was taken to the hospital. Live in South Shore, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. All right, Jim, and we will keep posted with you as that story develops.